Hi everybody. My name is Daryl and this is Daryl Goes Shopping, my YouTube channel. Um, these are things that I pick up at the bins and then I style them all together in one, one video that is uh, comprised of everything that I got on that particular haul. And um, I haven't even sorted through this stuff, so I thought I would just kind of do this at the same time with you guys. So here's one bag. I spent $39 on this. And here's another bag. I tasked myself with uh, uh, not get, bringing too much stuff home. <laughs> so this is something that I love, um, Nine West pumps. They fit me really well and I can wear them for hours on end. These are in perfect condition and they're my size. Um, yeah, they're kind of boring, but sometimes you just need that classic um, pump. They're almost a kitten heel there and they have the pointy toes, so they're right on trend. These are um, an unknown brand, but I like them because I don't have to tie any laces up. <laughs> I can just shove my feet in them. Can't wait to see how this stuff works. Here's some. Some more. <laughs> this is uh, like a, probably a 90, I don't know what era this is from. Um, but I wanted a leather jacket that was just a classic um, blazer. Yes, it's missing a button, which that's easy enough to fix. And uh, there you go. It's beautiful, huh? This is from Denim & Co, which is QVC, I believe. I like these shoes. I'm gonna put these on with something. <laughs> they need a little bit of a, a clean up, but what's nice about them is they have um, vent holes in them for your feet. And I almost didn't grab them because I thought they looked small. Ooh, la la. I can't wait to put these on with something. I got this Swift Shear electric scissors. So I love this crossbody bag that I got. I'm not sure my cell phone's gonna fit in there. Just barely if it does. But anyway, they do vegan leather and uh, I just like how little this is and um, the brand is Hobo. This dress is from a brand, the tag says 548 on it. So I don't really know. <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some research. Um, the waist is a little bit high on me, but I think it still fits. It's a jumpsuit. In the back. I didn't get a lot in the way of pants. And so I'm gonna have to kind of Jimmy rig this all around. I love this top. I was hoping it would fit me. Um, it's vintage. It's from uh, Oscar de la Renta. Did you see the O on the... And this is one of the mass-produced pieces that he did, I think, in the 80s, 90s. Has very minimal shoulder pads, 100% silk. I think it's a beautiful fit. So I'm gonna go full on sporty here. Um, this sweatshirt is really super soft from a brand called Young LA. And um, as you can see it's very, very oversized. And uh, I've got it paired up with a pair of uh, Athleta joggers. And I thought I'd put these tennis shoes on and see what they look like with the whole bit. I really like these joggers. They've got pockets, but then they've also got a zippered pocket. And um, I think 
just this sort of a stretchy tuxedo stripe coming down the side of them. I actually like this look. This is pretty comfy. <laughs> I wish you could feel how soft this is. So this is from Marine Lair, and this is just really a, a retro looking piece from about the 70s, I would say, or you might want to go into like the, the surfer um, 80s and 90s. This is from uh, Sundance, beautiful um, pullover velvet shirt, it's gorgeous. I was hoping this would fit me. It's a vintage red silk um, lingerie piece or night nightgown, um, but I think it makes a great um, layering piece. So pretty. I'm gonna try it with these pants too. Gotta say, I would never wear this anywhere like this. Maybe Vegas, not even there. It's it's off. It isn't it isn't hitting the mark. I would I'm going for like mobster wife sort of look, and uh, I think maybe if I had um, a glitzy coat over the top of it, it might work a little bit. But I have a black top, so let me try that. These are uh, from a brand called Espresso, and they're just an inexpensive lace pant. I like the fact that they are a wide leg and that they are lined all the way through. I grabbed this black lace top because I like the silhouette, the peplum. Um, we'll have to see. <laughs> look at this, here's the, maybe don't like that so much. I look like a fembot. <laughs> <laughs> really, who designed this? <laughs> I grabbed this because of the label. The label is Giorgio's, and that was just the place to get glam stuff back in, oh, I guess the 90s, maybe. And uh, so I grabbed this, never mind the pants. <laughs> <laughs> but I do think it's a pretty awesome shirt and especially with the prevalence of red, 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 red. <laughs> so this is kind of the way I was wanting to go with this blazer and uh, I paired it up with this gorgeous silk fluttery leopard print skirt. Um, the, it's, the skirt is a little bit big, but I think what I'm going to do is just pull the elastic a bit tighter and no one will know the difference. Isn't that sweet? Let's see how this looks. Here we are. We've got the, the Young LA sweatshirt on. And I like this straight skirt. Um, and the easy flat shoes. It's just a comfy, I don't know, it's kind of like a good way to wear, a dressed up way to wear sweats. Um, the skirt is linen. It is from uh, CP Shades, I think. Either that or flax. This gorgeous dress has potential. Um, I haven't tied up the sleeves here. I'm not exactly sure where these are supposed to go. May <laughs> I think maybe they're supposed to just tie in a bow at the tops of the shoulders. I do think it needs uh, something to pull it in here. This is from Lulu's and it's new with tags. It's actually cinch up this front, so that's really nice. Another thing I thought you could do is pull this up here and tie it in a knot. And so you kind of rein it in a little bit that way. See, it's got a lot of fabric. <laughs> this is new with tags. It's from Forever 21. I can see probably why. I'd wear it for a cover up. Speaking of cover ups, there's this one. And I'm liking anything that is white and kind of crochet influenced. That. See, this 
works, I think. It's really two cover-ups. <laughs> this is the other piece I couldn't wait to try on um, because I had no idea whether it was gonna work or not. But it's just a white oversized vest. As you can see I got lots of room here. And uh, I just think it's cute like this and I can see it over all kinds of things for summer. 100% cashmere sweater um, from Nordstrom and uh, absolutely beautiful. And then this is a new tag scarf and it's knitted Salish weaving collection. And I live in the ancestral grounds of the Salish and uh, I think this is absolutely beautiful, absolutely gorgeous. So that's it, you guys. Thanks for watching my video. Um, if you would, please subscribe. And uh, I think maybe I'll try and get you another one that doesn't have a bunch of construction noises in the background, but uh, it's all for the good. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Bye.